Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Santos if you're new or hey if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. The video I have planned for today is a lash comparison video. Now if you know me and my channel, I like to do a lot of comparisons for makeup. I don't know why, they do well, so I like to do them and I don't know, I just have always done them. So the lashes I'm going to be comparing today are two major high-end lash brands in the makeup industry. You know, Ardell has been around for a long time, so it's Kiss Lashes, all those drugs lash brands which I love wearing but I like to dabble with some high-end lashes too and the two major companies that stand out to me are Lily Galici lashes and also Huda Beauty lashes both companies are run by two really powerful amazing women in the makeup industry I'm all about powerful boss ladies that know how to work business that are just like inspirations for girls like me girls like you girls like all of us and boys too but you know just like a great businesswoman. I love to see that. So, you know, I'm excited to review them. And also, I'm going to be trying Miami lashes from Lily Galici for the first time ever. Those ones are really hyped up. Everyone here on YouTube talks about them, and it's like her most popular lash. So I'm excited to try them and see if they're really worth the hype. Anyways, I'm going to get into the video, but before I do that, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram, Kim underscore 0530. I'll just put that there. And anyways, let's get to comparing some fake lashes. So the lashes I'm going to be featuring today in our comparison is first off, the Lily Galici Miami Lashes. They just recently launched in Sephora and these are the exact same pair that she sells on her website. They're just sold through Sephora, which was amazing because you know, you don't have to pay the shipping, the wait time. You can just order online Sephora and it comes the next day or in, if you see it in store. I kid you not, Everyone talks so highly about these lashes. Every like major beauty guru person. I don't know me. I'm just like Wow, I see these lashes everywhere and I want to know if the hypes are real Apparently these are some of the best fake luxe lashes you can get so we're gonna see that today The style to me is very like fluttery. It kind of flares out It has a nice curve to it if you can kind of see on the actual lashes The lash band is thicker and it's just like very fluffy and kind of like spread out and they gather at some areas It's not like one complete full lash like they're very like naturally spread So it kind of mimics your natural lashes if you kind of have more of like that fluttery flirty look So the next lashes I'm going to be trying are honestly a really big favorite of mine I've been wearing them for over a year now and I've bought them four times and the lashes I'm talking about are the Huda Beauty Sasha Lashes. I love these ones because I love how they're crisscrossed. These are some of my favorite pairs. I always get compliments when I wear them. So I thought they would be a perfect contender for the really hyped Miami lashes. They also have a really thick band as well. The material made from these lashes is obviously synthetic, but they're still so flirty. They're so beautiful on anyone who's ever put them on. I just really love them. So what I'm gonna do is probably zoom you guys in come closer to my eyes. I'm gonna apply the lashes, see how difficult, how easy it is to get them on, and kind of compare them side by side and really find out if Miami is as good as everyone says and, you know, how it compares to my favorite lashes ever. Okay, I have zoomed you in very close. We're getting up close and personal. So I'm gonna prepare my lashes for the fake ones. I'm just gonna curl them with a lash curler just to get like a curl going. Cause I have lashes that they're, they're decent, like they're long, but they just stick out straight. So I wanna make sure that they're nice and curled for the falsies. This always gives me so much anxiety. Have you guys ever seen that video of the girl? Like she curled her lashes and then after she rips them out because she didn't release it. Oh my God, that's a nightmare. I'm gonna go like a couple times. Okay. The next step for me is just putting on mascara. I'm gonna use one of my favorites of all time, which is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Some people like to put mascara on before, and some people like to do it after their fake lashes. I kind of try not to do it after because I don't wanna coat them with mascara, and I wanna preserve them and make them last as long as I can. So I always do it before, and if I really need to blend, I'll quickly go in with just a little bit of mascara afterwards. Time to apply. Just like a little light coat. Can't forget my bottoms, so they can balance out the massive spiders I'm about to put on my eyeballs. I cannot have my makeup look without bottom lash mascara. 
if I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes, I just feel naked. I, I don't know, I, I just, I can't do it. I always have to remember. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So now that I have the mascara on, we're gonna start applying the fake lashes. Now, some people need to trim their lashes because eyes come in all different shapes and sizes, small, large, almond, hooded. I have really big eyes, which a lot of people say good things about, and I, and I, okay, like I accept the compliments, but just because you have big eyes doesn't mean it's always better. Think about it, the more real estate, the more land you have, the more taxes you gotta pay. So it's not always good. Like sometimes my eyes, like I have so much creasage and like shadow, goes everywhere and it looks very messy because you have so much space you got to fill it up with but yeah I don't know we all want what we don't have essentially at the end of the day that's really how it is I find for my eye shape I never have to trim the Sasha lashes by Huda Beauty so I'm just going to apply them straight to my eye these ones I don't need to trim some other lash styles if the lash band is longer I do but with this style don't have to do anything so this is the lash in my hand as you can see the lashes are very thick the way that they feel they still feel feel like lashes, like obviously, hello, it's a lash, but I just feel like the fibers are a little bit smoother and silkier and they have like, I don't want to say a plastic coating, but it's very smooth, like plastic kind of, but not. I'm probably not describing this in the most amazing way, but I just like how they do feel. So these are them. So I'm just going to take my duo lash glue. It's the one I always use. I've tried so many others and I don't know, this one is just the one I always go back to. It's a classic and you can find it at a lot of places, like the drugstore always has it. So I've just freshly coated it. Some may say this is um, too much. They probably are right, but I don't know. That's just usually I put like an even thick coat against the lashes. And now I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. We're just gonna chill here, me and you. So what I like to do is grab like a little compact mirror. I'm gonna take the lash and I'm gonna look down while I apply it. Like look down into the mirror it's just a technique that I found that works for me and works for a lot of different people. Instead of kind of looking up at a mirror, just looking down and trying to land it upwards onto your lash is probably the best idea. Lash glue is a little tacky now. Okay, I've landed the lash. Okay, the lash has dried completely. So this is my eye with the Sasha Lash from Huda Beauty. Really like it. It's just like my go-to if I want that extra drama. It's so flared, so flirty, but just, I don't know. It gives that like sultry look to it. Now moving over to the other eye, we're gonna be using the Lily Galici Miami Lash. As you can see, very fluttery. The hairs are not sparse, but they come in clumps in different areas of the lash. It's spread out pretty evenly and the lash band is thick once again. Sometimes thicker lash bands are harder to apply than like very thin ones. Now I think I have to measure this one to my eye because it might be a little too big. I think I'm just going to trim a little bit off of this side of the Lily Galici lash. Just a tad bit. It's like a haircut. I don't need a full cut. Just a little trim. Cutting it slightly. I don't need much but and then once again, we're gonna wait for this lash to dry. So, how's your day going? Let me know in the comments. What did you do today? Do you have anything exciting? Did you eat anything good? Write it down, just leave it down below. So I think the lash is dry and now we're gonna apply it on. Once again, I'm looking down into my compact right here. And then kind of adjust it. Kind of fixing the ends. And then just squishing them together. So I'm just going to wait for this lash to completely dry and then we're going to compare them. So my final thoughts on these lashes is I'm really impressed with the Lily Galici Miami lashes. Yes, they are more expensive than the Huda Beauties, but I didn't think I was going to like them as much as I like my Hudas just because they're still my favorites, like I love them, but I this might be a contender, I'm not going to lie. They feel more natural than the Sasha lashes, and they just look more natural because they're all one length, while the Huda Beauty one kind of tapers out and gives more of that cat eye vibe, so you kind of get two different looks with these lashes. They're not drastically different from one another, but you can totally tell they're not the same 
same lash. If you're looking more for a smoky cat eye look, I definitely recommend Sasha and also because they're crisscrossed over one another. But also the Miami lashes too, they give that like very sparse natural hair look that's gonna be so full. It's gonna give that thick volume and kind of give a sparse look to the lashes, leave them thicker in some areas and just give a nice overall appearance. They're definitely expensive, but I think the Miami lashes live up to the hype, guys. I like my Ardell's like for my everyday glam and I want like an easy lash look, I'll use like the Demi Wispies or the Wispies. But you know, if you really want a nice pair of falsies, I think either of these lashes are gonna be amazing. They're just, they're really pretty and they both live up to the hype and I'm really impressed with Miami today. So let me know which lash you like better. If you like the Sasha Lashes by Huda Beauty or Miami from Lily Galici. This concludes the comparison video of Lily Galici Miami Lashes to Huda Beauty Sasha Lashes. Both are beautiful pairs. I think they're really nice. You know, they are they are pricey. But if you take care of your lashes, and that's for any brand of lashes, both the drugstore, lower end to really high end luxe lashes, they can last a long time and you can get a lot of wears out of them. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, so, so much for watching my video. And like always, remember, sub it if you love it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Why is my hand cramping? I'm just putting on mascara. I'm not like writing an essay. I feel like some people are gonna drag me and say, you don't even need fake lashes after this. Guys, I just, I like the drama. Okay. By the way, if my eyebrows are looking a little bit scary, um, they, they need to be trimmed and cleaned up and I just essentially need a weed whacker for my eyebrows. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm, yeah, this mustache needs to go too. Mm, like 30 seconds for your lash to dry. 40, 30 to 45 seconds. It depends the lash glue too. Oh. Oh, okay. We we dropped the lash. There's too much noise. It's me, Jim. I can't, no one can see you. No one wants to see you. You know what, I really looks bad today. I don't want to be Like bad. the video if you want to see Vanessa do prom makeup with me.